This is outrageous. It's unfair. Hey everybody, so we have some awesome news today, or rather about 18 hours ago or so. Some of you might not know about the upcoming Star Wars show that they have planned in the works right now, and it's been going on for the last year or so. So, today we finally got the title reveal and what it's going to be about. It's going to be directed by the talented Jon Favreau, who if you don't know directed Iron Man and a few other great movies. The show allegedly is going to cost upwards of 10 million per episode. Now of course, while the budget is in no way indicative of how good it's going to be it's at least a good start. So just today, he announced that it's gonna be called The Mandalorian. Now, Mandalorians were from Mandalore, and they were notorious for being the galaxy's best bounty hunters. It was in their blood and tradition. His Instagram post reads this. The Mandalorian. After the stories of Jango and Boba Fett, another warrior emerges in the Star Wars universe. The Mandalorian is set after the fall of the Empire and before the emergence of the First Order. We follow the travails of a lone gunfighter in the outer reaches of the galaxy, far from the authority of the New Republic. So there we have it. Could it be a woman? I don't know, I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm thinking it's going to come out in 2020. Of course, you know, that's not for sure yet, as Episode 9 comes out in 2019, and the streaming service that it's going to be on isn't even out yet as well. I'm pretty stoked for this. A new way to explore different parts of Star Wars is by focusing on different characters, and all in live action, high budget. That's pretty sweet. The fact that it takes place after the fall of the Empire is something that makes me really happy, because that's definitely a time period that I want to know more about, between Episode 6 and 7. I'm sure, or at least very hopeful, that we'll hear about Luke Skywalker at some point in the show. And if I'm not wrong, Mandalorians hunt everything, including Jedi. So maybe they'll be on a hunt for some Jedi that we haven't seen in a very long time. They could bring Mace back, but who knows what they'll do. That'd be pretty cool as well. He'd be extremely old at that point, but it would be pretty awesome. Now, in the original script of a Boba Fett movie that was supposed to come out, which is online, you guys can find it, Mace Windu was apparently supposed to return and get incinerated by Boba Fett. Now, I haven't seen that, but I heard about it, so take that with a grain of salt, or rather, sand. What? But as for now, we know it's gonna be about Mandalorians, and one in particular, so maybe they'll be on a hunt for Jedi, or for one another, or for who knows what. They could be chasing relics that have been stolen from the Empire themselves, maybe Sith holocrons, or Jedi holocrons, or who knows at this point. Either way, I'm excited, and hope you guys are too. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you always. Now,